Hello, my J friends. My name is Scott. I work here at the J's Pilates instructor. Today, we're going to do a simple little video of just grounding. If you're feeling a little stress or anything in your lives, just a nice way to stand and be grounded and connect from your feet all the way to the head. So let's just begin by standing. Take a moment to check out your feet, the nice alignment. Make sure you have a little lift through the arches of your feet. The nice little tripods, we have our two points, the heels, and then the heel being the third point. And just take a moment to close your eyes. All we're going to do in this position is feel the bones stacking from the feet all the way to the crown of the head. And all I want you to do is just have a gentle little rock forward towards the balls of the feet and a little gentle rock back towards the heels. Just doing that on your own time and way. As you do that, try not to break through the pelvis. We're just creating a nice rocking with the alignment in mind, easy through the muscles of the body. Feel the bones stacking. Imagine you have a little string attached from the crown of your head to the ceiling. You feel that gentle sensation of working against gravity. Just take a nice deep breath. Breath is key when it comes to grounding, releasing tension through your bodies. One more time, forward and back. And now just rest in that center place. And notice how that feels. You should feel a sense of balance from the front of the body to the back of the body. Shoulders nice and relaxed. And just take a few moments to pause there. Know that that's where you want to be all the time in standing position and slowly open the eyes. And then from there, just bend the knees and just have a little pulse of the knees. Like something is just pulling you down. Gravity is pulling you down, not losing that nice length of your spine, gently opening up the ankle joints, the knee joints, feeling a little subtle reverberation through your body. So there's a little bit of movement in the joints, the sort of involuntary movement. Few more deep breaths there. And then you slowly press up from the earth, feel that nice sense of length. One more time at that exhale, just ground and drop into the ankle joints, knee joints, feel the pelvis nice and heavy, tailbone dropping right between those feet. One more little breath there. Exhale, straighten up, circle your shoulders, four and three and two, one more time. Now add the elbows, circling an easy opening through the chest, two, three, and my friends, we reverse that simple circle, shoulders forward, up and around, no movement through the spine, one last time, and then add the elbows again, four, circling around, three, get all that nice opening through the joints, all the way down, resting, and my friends, lift up your left arm and you look to the floor, not sinking into the hip. Just feel a nice stretch of the side of the body, which we don't get very much. Inhale the right arm. Exhale all the way over. Feel that nice stretch down these muscles. One more breath there. One more time. Inhale. Exhale up and over, stretching, grounding through the left heel. Inhale. Exhale, up and over, looking, getting a nice stretch of that side of the neck. All the way, come down. We don't get enough work in our feet, so let's try that a little bit. Just press to the ball of the right foot, and down. Press to the ball of the left foot, four of those. As you do that, make sure that you're not letting the foot go side to side. Again, this is the propulsion phase of your gait patterning. One more time, right and left. And last time, all the way down. And now we just come into our little V position, or first position. Take your arms out to the side, little simple little plies, plie. And lift the arms circling up. Four like that, nice and simple. Drop through the pelvis, get that nice shoulder joint movement. Keeping the arms slightly in front of the body, so as to not hyperextend. Then just adding a little bit of extension through the spine. Down, we don't get enough extension through our spine. Inhale as you come up, not hyperextending the neck, 
just feeling like extension happens from the breastbone. One last time, inhale up and release, coming back to your parallel position. You're just going to drop the head just above the breastbone and just hang there. Breathing. Get a nice sense of weight of the head to stretch all those spinal extensor muscles. And exhale, come back up. Exhale, next time we drop down to about the belly button. Rolling down, just stay there. This time while you're there, that same little pulse that we just had, stretching out the back muscles, the neck, feel a nice sense of weight through the head. One more breath there. And we exhale slowly, press up, always standing position. Getting a little bit of rotation. We exhale, round down the spine, bending the knees, just coming about halfway. Taking your left hand on your left knee, and you inhale, open to the ceiling, and down. Simple, four like that. Inhale as you come up. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can come down to your forearm. Inhale up, and just one more like that. Inhale, breathe, and you switch. Right hand on the right knee, just inhale up. If you want more of a stretch, come down to your forearm. Inhale, two more like that. All the way up, inhale. One last time, inhale up. All the way, come back, slowly press up. Externally rotate through the chest. Nice thing to do just periodically throughout the day while you're standing around. Breathing at work, if you're in your desk, you can do this, just externally rotate. We tend to be very internally rotated. Then you can take the hands behind, clasp the hands like so, and then you can open up the chest. Just be careful that you're not hyperextending through the low back. Keep that tailbone drop, chest opening, breathing there for a few moments. And then a little rotation to the neck. You look to the left. Breathe into the lungs without, again, hyperextending the low back. Exhale, you rotate to the right. Feel the nice, gentle stretch of the neck. We hold a lot of tension in that neck, shoulder area. And you come back center. Clasp the hands behind the head like so, like you're doing a little sit-up. Again, all we're going to do is lift to the breastbone. We just have a little lift, again, without hyperextending, and then you round over, just gentle little stretch, four like that. Inhale like little wings, opening up, look to the ceiling. Exhale, just drop above the breastbone. Inhale as you come up, breathe, opening the chest, nice to open to the shoulder girdle also. One more time like that, inhale, Exhale, come all the way back down, release the arms, and again, this time we're going to roll all the way down, bend the knees, all the way over, nice heavy through the head, all the way over. This time as you press up, let the arms externally rotate, inhale, coming up, four like that, big wings rolling down, nice expansive arms, inhale, push up. Inhale into that extension again. Two more like that. Nice deep breath. Inhale on the extension. Exhale all the way down. One last time. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down. Again, coming back to our breath. One hand on the belly, one hand on the low back like so. Close the eyes again, just breathe into the belly. Exhale, on the exhalation, feel your hand pressing into the belly. That's that nice core, deep abdominal transversus connection. One more breath there, exhaling. And then you take just the hands under the ribs, slightly different breath. And breathing there. On this breath, it's more of a lateral breath. Often we think of our breath more in the front of the body. Try to think of the three-dimensionality of the breath all the time. Couple more breaths there. 
without it getting up into the neck. Last breath, inhale. Close the eyes and just stand back to the beginning place. We've come full circle. One time shift the body weight forward. Shift the body weight back. Come back to that center place. And thank you very much, my friends. Enjoy your day.